Keeping up your garbage is exactly what we want you to do. It's the primary reason that we have bear conflicts in Florida. However, you're not really done there. Um, if your garbage is secure, bears are going to move on to other things like uh, pet food. If you leave uh, pet food outside um, and it draws in raccoons or stray dogs and cats, it will absolutely draw in bears. If you want to feed your, your animals outside, you can feed them and then immediately pick the bowls up. One of the other things that we really need you to do is keep up uh, bird seed. Everybody likes to feed birds. However, uh, if you leave it out, bears find it, they are gonna destroy your bird feeder and they're gonna hang around and, and get into other things, not just your bird feed in your yard. Some of the other things that you could do to prevent bear conflicts at your house uh, is actually using a water sensitive uh, sprinkler system. Similar to the water uh, scarecrows, they call them, uh, are critter getters. Critter getters is just a noise making device. Um, it has an infrared beam. As soon as the bear breaks the beam, uh, loud whistles and lights go off. Um, and generally that'll deter bears uh, from coming into your yard. Bear spray is actually a really good deterrent if you plan on walking your dog uh, in the evening when bears are most active. Uh, carrying bear spray with you is a really good uh, defense mechanism. If you see a bear and they're not retreating right away, uh, you may be able to deploy the bear spray uh, to chase them away. Another thing that will draw bears into your yard are um, ornamental trees and fruit trees. Um, if you have loquats, uh, bananas, um, birds of paradise, things like that, bears really like to come in and uh, eat those trees. So you may have to pick the fruit uh, before they're ripe off of those trees or put up electric fencing around them to keep the bears away from them. Uh, if you have lots of acorns or natural foods that are falling from your trees, uh, is actually rake them up. You rake them up into a pile and dispose of them. This way the bears don't have access to natural foods that are in your yard. So two other things that you really need to pay attention to are garage doors and screen enclosures. Garage doors are important. You must keep them closed in bare areas. If you have any type of food, uh, bird seed, dog food, garbage or refrigerators, bears will explore and get into those in your garages. Keeping your screen enclosure free of any attractants like grills, dog food, and other attractants like small refrigerators is very important. Bears will rip through your screen enclosure to find those attractants. 